guy was doing that one. I said, hey, why don't you follow me? Give me a press conference. I just said, you know what? I'm tired of thinking about it. I'm tired of working about it. Which, which building is 27? Uh, you've been where we played cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we all know that. Yeah. But, oh, I thought that's the building you were talking about. Yo, you know, my house. Everybody, please rise. Is that in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Pursuant to Section 5, Chapter 231, Public Laws of 1975, this is to state for the record that adequate notice of this meeting has been provided to the public by posting and maintaining the annual notice of the regular meetings on the bulletin board in the municipal building and by providing a copy of the annual notice of the regular meetings in the year 2017 to the Glenridge Paper, Glenridge Voice, the One Fair Times, and the Star Ledger on Tuesday, January 10, 2017. I file a notice in the office of the municipal clerk. Will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Here. Sovich? Here. Leftwood? Here. Dawson? Here. Murphy? Here. Morrow? Here. Here. Passes present. Mr. Mayor, you have a quorum. Thank you, Michael. Um, can I have a motion to approve the minutes of our January 23rd, 2017 regular meeting? So moved. Thank you. I'll second. Thank you. Paul? Any uh, discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councilor Hughes? Aye. Sovich? Aye. Leftwich? Aye. Dawson? Abstain? Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Five ayes, one abstention, no nay. Motion is carried. Thank you. Are there any uh, communications? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. First, we see the letter from the Glenridge Community Fund announcing that the Zaga Run will be on Sunday, June 26th. So we received an annual report from the Shade Tree Commission, which is posted on our webpage. I have one. And we received from uh, Willen's Attorney Pet Law, Lisa Gora, uh, information on the Board of Education Special Election to be held on Tuesday, March 14th. And then finally, we have a letter uh, emailed to Councilperson Murphy uh, from Meredith Lopez of Willow Street. It states, my family and I moved to Glenridge a year and a half ago. I know this is a small town, but I would like to know if there's anything Glenridge can do to help immigrants affected by Donald Trump's new policy regarding federal funding in sanctuary cities. I feel extremely helpless, but I don't want to sit back and do nothing because we are a small town without a large immigrant population. Thank you for your time. Signed, Meredith Lopez, and that concludes correspondence. Thank you. Please file the correspondence.
regard to the uh, kind of a rails to trails where we've got a abandoned railroad that leads from Montclair um, through Glenridge Bloomfield um, and into um, Branch Brook Park. And it would be a really neat way if um, the county could find some funds to create a pathway which would connect all of our little towns to the gem, which is Branch Brook Park. So folks wouldn't have to drive, they could easily, or, or risk their lives riding a bicycle the way I do down there. We could easily um, get there even run. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful park, and if you get more folks, uh, if you gain more access to that park, uh, park via um, a, a trail, uh, that used to be a rail, that would be a wonderful thing. And I'm going to be working on this, um, certainly uh, on behalf of the, the folks here in town who asked me to see what I could do with regard to moving this thing forward, because this has been kicked around for quite some time. And Lord knows that, that railway is never going to be used, and I know it's a right-of-way, and I, I guess we just don't have any control over that, but you know, where, where there's a will, there's a way, and perhaps uh, with this help we can make it happen. Oh, the specific location? Um, yeah, there's a railroad you have to access. He's familiar with it, but mm -hmm. it's, it's the old... Um, uh, Benson Street. Uh, what was it? It's the old boot. The old boot. Yeah, he, he uh, Mr. DiVincenzo is familiar with it because it's the Rails for Trails organization that we back years ago and, and presented the idea. They're trying to push that whole Rails for Trail not only from the end of beginning of Montclair all the way through to Jersey City, basically. Yeah. Um, it goes right that same. Railroad line goes right through the Meadowlands. So not only after Branchburg Park it goes through the park system that's in the Meadowlands now, that uh, along that yeah. the, uh, uh, turnpike. There's so just a couple of bridges. But at least if we brought it to Branchburg, that's a wonderful idea. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's uh, one that puts right there in that park. Correct. Yeah, right. That's the right. connection. Right. That's the connection. Yeah, you could walk if you went down to the Benton, Benton Street right. Green and, the and started walking on that that's railroad. That's an easy access point, too. Benton Street is a very easy there's, the park. there's parking lot. Because I know Montclair had a concern because they didn't have the, the ability for folks to park and then access that rail line. Yeah, but very little of it is in Montclair because the line ends really by the it ends CBS. Yeah. yeah, it ends by the, nearly by the CBS. So, but be able to go from here to Branchburg Park would be a wonderful right. opportunity. Yep. Um, but the, my understanding is the railroad is the, is the big problem. Um, when I spoke to Joe D, he was said sounds good, but but he wasn't going to take the laboring this war in dealing with the railroad no, line, no, with the no. railroad. But the, the railroad tracks won't support the train. Yeah, and they were they were the railroad uh, line was saying I forget which one it is, but they no, were saying. It, What's that? Norfolk Southern. Yeah, and they were saying they still use it from time to time, and you can walk down by um, <coughs> the uh, uh, Baldwin Street Bridge, and there'd be like uh, furniture on the tracks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And, and there's vegetation growing up all yeah, through right. the, and, the and tracks. And trees that have fallen across yeah. the tracks. Too. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it, it clearly yeah. hasn't been used, and it would be a wonderful. So rather than it being a blight, it would be a wonderful thing to be an asset to all of our community. So, Dan, I'll do anything I can to help you uh, yep. in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to take more than money to, to, to get the the uh, railroad to actually yes, that was, they were pushing back very hard. And for the record, it's council, council, councilor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank 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 you. Um, I have no uh, comments this evening, so uh, Peter. Mayor, I have three resolutions tonight. I offer resolution 35-17, be resolved that the following claims be approved and warrants be drawn for the same and be resolved that the Chief Financial Officer, Treasurer, Borough of Glenridge is hereby authorized to issue the payroll for the employees of the Borough of Glenridge for the pay date of February 13, 2017. Mayor, I move the resolution. I'll Thank second. You. Thank you, Paul. Uh, you've heard the resolution. Uh, is there any uh, discussion on this? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Councillor Hughes? Aye. Kosovic? Aye. Lefkowitz? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The resolution is approved. Thank you.
And Mayor, I have resolution 36-17, which is a fairly long resolution, but I, I've read through it a couple times. I don't see how I can shorten it up. You could, uh, you could just explain this is the borough attorney and assessor the ability to file cross claims uh, after the tax appeal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the purpose of this is to empower our tax assessor uh, to be able to file a cross claim when a uh, when a uh, when someone files a, files a tax appeal. And it also uh, empowers our attorney to offer assistance to the uh, tax assessor on an ad -need, as need basis. Okay, so with that in mind, I have resolution 36-17, which is a resolution authorizing the filing of assessor's tax appeals, answers, counterclaims, appeals, and cross appeals in tax matters on behalf of the borough of Glen Ridge. Mayor, I move the resolution. I'll second. I'll second. Thank you all. Uh, John, do you want to weigh in on this at all? Uh, this was a recommendation made to us by George and Bruce, our uh, tax assessor, and it has been his experience with other municipalities where he served as tax assessor. Uh, in a situation where the municipality files a counterclaim uh, as a defense for which the tax appeal, it's unclear whether or not that's a valid exercise of power without the enabling resolution authorizing that by the Mayor Council. So it was his recommendation that we uh, do this. Um, and uh, the form of this resolution uh, is similar to those in other towns. We basically have to track that. Thank you. Any further discussion? Clerk, please hold on. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Kosovic? Aye. Lefkowitz? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays, two resolutions approved. Thank you. And Mayor, I have finally resolution number 37 17, where I guess a cross, of, a cross claim was not filed. I don't know. Be resolved by the Council of the Borough of Glen Ridge that warrants be drawn to the below listed homeowners and representatives in the designated amounts representing tax reimbursements resulting from a tax appeal. This is in the amount of $21,378.73, but it goes, uh, it's over a three year period. Uh, Mayor, I move the resolution. Thank you. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Paul. Any further discussion? Seeing none. Councillor Hughes? Aye. Ms. Aye. Lefkowitz? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. Well, Mayor, that's all my comments for tonight. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Silvich? Okay. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I simply have one item tonight. I have resolution number 3817 that deals with really just an administrative uh, mission <coughs> to uh, obtain insurance for our towing companies. Requirement on our towers. So, um, it's resolution number 38-17. Uh, be resolved uh, to amend our insurance requirements for towing uh, for the year 2017 as follows: uh, a garage li uh, excuse me, a garage keeper's liability policy covering fire, theft, and explosion in the minimum amount of $25,000 and a collision coverage subject to a maximum deductible of $500 with each accident deemed a separate claim. Each policy required herein must contain an endorsement providing for 30 days notice to the borough in the event of any material change or cancellation. Um, these are the insurance requirements required for a tower to produce to work in our borough. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move the resolution. Thank you, Paul. Do I hear a second? Oh, sorry. Thank you, Mark. Um, Mike, how does this differ from last year or doesn't it? We, uh, the towing firms are having problems with the deductible. This is basically what the carriers are recommending. And that's that rule is to change because last year they had problems about the payment insurance certificate and the deductibles in the previous year. Any further discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Council Clerk Hughes? Aye. Vesovic? Aye. Lethwick? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. Uh, Mr. Mayor, that's all I have. Thank you. Councillor Lefkowitz. Um, Mr. Mayor, I, I have no uh, formal report this evening, but I would like to mention, um, in view of the uh, correspondence regarding the, the sanctuary cities issue, 
uh, that, that I also received uh, correspondence from a resident in town about the same uh, issue and uh, just thinking about it for a moment, uh, my response to, to this resident was that um, where we've seen sanctuary cities uh, be declared, uh, Jersey City I think is one and Newark is another, um, that it's largely um, a, a sort of accommodation for police enforcement, that uh, it's a trade-off that uh, um, if uh, undocumented uh, immigrants are assured that by cooperating with the police they won't be subject to deportation, then they'd be more likely to cooperate with the police. And, and that was my basic understanding of why cities have declared themselves to be sanctuary cities in the most part. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure that that really applies to our situation, but um, anyway, it's a topic that uh, seems to be coming up more and more. Okay. Anyway, so I just thought I would share that, uh, which a uh, resident uh, shared with me. And, and that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Councillor Doss? Um, I have a brief report from Public Works. I don't have any uh, issues to raise to me. Uh, prior to the snowstorm, the DPW crews were out uh, cleaning catch basins. Uh, additional crews were replacing faded parking signs and picking up Christmas trees. During the uh, snowstorm on Thursday, we had our full staff in and working. The brow roads were completely plowed twice. During the latest icing conditions, a small crew came in to salt the roads. We had no major equipment failures and no injuries during the uh, cleanup efforts. I might also add that uh, the crew came in, uh, a partial crew came in at 4 o'clock in the morning on Sunday uh, to deal with the ice storm. And, uh, or no, not on Sunday, excuse me, on Friday. So, uh, was it Friday or Thursday? No, it's uh, right. Thursday was the Thursday night Thursday. into Friday, right? So they came in early. Crew came in early, and they were on top of it. And uh, uh, we used—we're going to have to buy some more salt. We used about uh, over half of what we had on hand. We didn't brought in because uh, it was expected to rain, yeah. so we still have plenty of rock. But uh, the streets were as good as they could have been. I think that's what the uh, our guys were doing.
your second. I'll second that, Mr. Matthew. Thank you. Um, is there any discussion? Michael, could you maybe go through why we got to this point? Okay. Uh, several vacant or abandoned homes in town that are in state of disrepair. This will give us options besides our property maintenance ordinance uh, to improve the to correct the disrepair items on the property, whether it be lawn maintenance, uh, board the house up if necessary, and also then gives the ability to seek reimbursement by means of about six or seven uh, other areas that we can seek reimbursement. So did we have a problem with about four homes in town? We've been working with the neighbors to have of course to keep the lawn area up to date, but in some areas right now I think we I also have a concern for public safety. Sorry, a uh, question. Yep. Um, just given how quickly homes sell in Glen Ridge when they're actually put on the market, uh, what are the reasons why they remain abandoned? Okay, one reason, one house in particular is the reverse mortgage that has gone to a grandchild who doesn't have a public financial position to maintain a home and we're starting to have a voting and the structure. That was probably the one that maybe for, for this type of ordinance uh, recommended to the council. So we had about four instances where we actually had a second one that was a reverse mortgage that has just been acquired and uh, is right now going through uh, reconstruction. So we didn't, it's not, we're not played by it, but we did have four properties and I think the majority of the reverse mortgages where the financial institution was hesitant to foreclose on the property. And in cases where even there is foreclosure, it may take the banks a year or two to put them on the market. So this is another problem. Thanks. Anybody else? I refer ordinance number 1654 to the municipal clerk for the purpose of statutory publication. It's very good. Take the roll call. Sorry. Take the first. Thank you. Councilor Hughes? Aye. Lasovitz? Aye. Lapkowitz? Aye. Dawson? Aye. Murphy? Aye. Morrow? Aye. Six ayes, no nays. The resolution is approved on first reading. Okay. Well, you'll that again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, is there any comments from the administrator? Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, I have one. Uh, the last day for registration of voting for the Board of Ed special election is February 21st, uh, next Tuesday. The borough will have extended hours to 9 o'clock to accommodate any resident who wants to register to vote. And that includes uh, my comments. Are the polling places the same? The polling places will be the same. We're going to be putting out a, uh, well, first of all, you're going, if you're a registered voter, you're going to receive a sample ballot which will have the place that you can vote. We're also going to have on our web page a link as to tell why if you're a registered voter and if you are a registered voter, where your polling place is. And I will be putting out that email. Uh, well, one for the registration, we'll be putting that out Friday, and then after the 21st, we'll be putting out an email about how to find your calling place. And if there's a question, just call town hall. We'll be happy to assist you with telling you where your calling place is. And probably the biggest one for new residents, the county always puts the ambulance squad at the firehouse, and for new residents, they find that difficult to find the firehouse that doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's been the biggest problem we have is people inquiring where's the firehouse. We'll try to put out as much information as possible. Great, thank you. No, I have no report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no report. Okay. Is, it, is there any new or unfinished business? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor. Okay, is this your last opportunity for comments from the public? Yeah, well, I may make a comment, though, from the council. Go ahead. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I noticed a person in the audience tonight who I don't recognize. Um, just like to welcome her here tonight. Uh, I'm going on the guess that she may be a reporter for one of our local papers, and if she is, uh, oh, we're happy to see you. Okay.
That's all I have.